What's going on, guys? It's Tony, Urban Girl Scout Media. I'm gonna do a quick little rant here about uh, Magic the Gathering Arena. Before I do that, I have to give you my catchphrase that I am living the dream as always. Happy to be here. And I wanted to just take a few minutes to talk about what we can do to make Magic the Gathering Arena a better experience, um, take it to the next level, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> of course, if you guys have your own suggestions, I'm happy to hear them. I, I love these kinds of conversations because I think that um, I think the opportunity is there for Hasbro to really make this a, a standard in the industry of how to do online gaming. I mean, there's a lot of positives to it. But there's a few things that I think uh, we need to get to. We need to get immediately onto this. First off, um, Mac, iOS, all, all users should be able to get on and use Arena at this point. So they should be able to work down that that issue. But let's talk about functionality and things within the game. Um, I want to get Pioneer in this. It's time. It really is. It's time to get Pioneer on onto Magic Arena. With that as well, maybe even before that, I would like to see the ability to draft older sets like Kaladesh, Omniket, um, Hour of Devastation, and going backwards. I mean, it, I really think that those drafts are great. I also would like to see more Omniscience events. It Those were great. Like, I loved... Um, I just love it. I, I Those are probably my favorite special events they do, so I'd love to see those come back and, and be a little bit more active. And I think that the standard meta right now, with all the formats in it, or let me try that again, with all the sets in it, I think that the standard meta would... The standard format is great for this. Um, think about the, the type of cards that you'd be able to create with Throne of Eldraine, or Theros Beyond Death, in an Omni Science draft. So, I also think that they need to upgrade the reward system a bit. Um, it is a grind if you are not wanting to spend money. It is a grind. There is no way around it. It is a grind. And I understand this is business. I understand this is, you know, we have to make money, things like that. But um, it's digital. The overhead is not as high. I don't care. I think that they need to make it a little bit less of a grind. Because unless you're willing to commit a lot of time to um, the game and, and playing online, or unless you're willing to you know, start committing money to it, you really have to have a, an exceptionally high win rate to get a lot of wild cards and packs. And even like the mastery pass, at first I thought was really cool, but then you realize like if you don't care about the cards, you're just paying for the packs and the gold and the, the other stuff that comes with it. So like as as the Theros mastery winds down, I have the gems to go and swoop it up. I just haven't done it. Because I still don't know if I want to do that or wait for the next mastery season. So I think they have to, to kind of change that up a bit, make it a little bit um, more player incentive, if you will, and reduce the grind that Magic Arena requires as players to have. I don't know if that means being able to purchase wild cards or if that means, um, you know, being able to purchase packs at a cheaper price. I don't know. I like, I really, I'm not sure what that entails, but I do know that as we enter, um, you know, this kind of uncertain phase with everything that's going on in the world, it's a great opportunity for wizards if they can kind of push these products. People are playing digital now more than ever. Magic Online, Arena, <coughs> excuse me. These are all getting a ton of traffic right now because, well, people want to play the damn game. And if Wizards of the Coast is really going to push Arena on us, give up on this historic bullshit and give us Pioneer. That's the truth. Nobody would be upset about historic. I mean, granted, if you bought the cards using your gold, your SOL, you should still be able to use them. You can keep Historic. I don't care, but give me Pioneer. So that's that. Uh, that's what I got for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this little rant. Hasbro, you can always contact me when you're ready for some, some more of these great ideas. Otherwise, you guys can continue to be the, the schmuckopotamuses that you have 
seemingly been forever. Everyone else have a great day. My name is Tony K. Living the dream as always at Urban Girl Scout Media.